Uh, okay. Hey guys. Um, so I'm just going to go through a really quick mini lecture on uh, generators and iterators. Uh, I think with like all most concepts in Python, it's easier to like learn about these topics with an example. So I'll just like try and speed through all the like technical conceptual stuff and then uh, get to example. And hopefully the what would Python do question I go over after this um, will help further clarify things. Okay. So yeah, iterators and generators. Okay. So the first, uh, I guess, thing is iterables. So iterables are objects that allow us to iterate through their elements. Um, you're probably familiar with like some of these iterables already, like uh, strings, lists, and tuples. And then we have uh, iterators. So iterators allow us to work with iterables. You can create an iterator from an iterable using the iter iterable function. And the next iterator function helps you retrieve the next element in the sequence. If there are no more elements, uh, it raises a stop iteration exception. Mm, I guess examples of iterables, or sorry, iterators can be like for and while loops. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess one more thing to note is that with iterators, you cannot move backwards or index into the elements like lists. Okay. Now let's talk about generators. So a generator is a special type of iterator. Uh, they're created using the generator functions, which are defined using the def, def uh, function, like regular functions. And when you call a generator function, it returns a generator object. And the key idea here is that you can only enter the function's body by calling next. All right, so two key words with generators, uh, these are yield and yield from. So yield is used to pause the function's execution and produce a value. Uh, this can be retrieved using next. And then yield from is more powerful, I guess, because it allows you to yield elements from an iterable or iterator one at a time. Um, and then I think this will be more clear in an example I have. So this is an example that was created by my friend Anthony, who I worked with in the summer. So here we have a generator function called uh, composites. So basically this function, just this generator function is gonna take the curve value and then test if it's a composite number. So the very first thing it's gonna check is whether it's prime or whether it's equal to one. If it's either of those two, it's gonna keep on incrementing by one until it becomes a composite number, right? And then what yield curve is gonna do is gonna return. It's gonna yield that smallest composite number. And then when we call the next line, which is yield from, it's going to basically continuously uh, yield the composite numbers after. So as you can see here in the example, uh, we have composites with a curve value that's initially set to one. And basically it's going to increment until it hits four, right? Because four is the next smallest composite number. So it's going to go ahead and yield four. And then when we call next, it's going to like output four. And then when we call next again, it's gonna go into that yield from statement, right? So it's gonna output six, and then it's gonna output eight, skipping seven because seven is prime, and then output nine, and then 10, and so on, yeah. So that's a very quick, I guess, lecture on generators and iterators, and hopefully that was useful. And if not, uh, just like, this is just a surface level like overview of iterators and generators, and hopefully the uh, like actual questions will help reinforce your understanding. So yeah.